Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 29th Qt tutorial with C++. We're continuing our conversation on the Qthread class, and what you see before you is the program we created in the last tutorial, so if you haven't watched that one, I'm going to real quickly go over this. We've got our main.cpp, which we are including a mythread.h, and we're just creating three versions of that thread. It has a name variable, so, name variable, so we're setting the name three times and starting it. And it's a very simple class. It just inherits Qthread and it overrides run. And when we go in here, the run function simply prints out running with the name and then it prints out the name and the current number and it loops for a thousand times. All right, so now that we've covered all that, let's talk about priority a little bit. Um, remember from our last conversation when I showed you uh, Task Manager, uh, each process had a certain priority. Well, you can specify how you want these threads to run. So let's just take the first thread and we'll say Qthread and we'll say highest priority. So we're going to say thread 1 has the highest priority. So when the CPU is granting out time slices to not just this process but to each thread, it's going to say thread 1 has the highest priority. And let's actually say thread 3, same thing. I want to show you what's going to happen here. So thread 1 and thread 3 have the highest priority. Thread 2 is just normal. So let's run this. And when our application runs, you notice how everything stops except for 2. 2 keeps going and going and going and going. Well, that's because remember we said thread 1 and thread 3 have the highest priority. So they're going to get more of the CPU's attention than thread 2. So that is how priority works. And there are multiple levels of, high, of priority. Um, there's highest, high, normal, low, inherited. So you could say lowest priority for thread 3. And let's, let's go over this real quickly. Thread 1 has the highest, thread 2 has inherited, which I believe is just normal for this process. And thread 3 has lowest. So it means thread 3 is just going to take a long time to execute in comparison to thread 1 and 2. Compile and run. And you see, sure enough, thread three, he was the, the last one in the race here. So that's how priority works. It's actually a pretty simple concept, um, but you need to understand how and why you would need priority. Um, for example, if you are doing a network communications, you want that communication to just be rock solid, you would probably give that a higher priority. But typically in the real world, you don't mess around with priority that much. So um, this is Brian, a very short tutorial, but a very important subject. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.